best thing that ever happened to me was I was in Japan back in about 1970 and I was staying with, there's a guy who's actually quite a famous musician in Japan, I was staying in his house and I had a bit of time to spare because sometimes um, there was nothing much to do. We used to go into, into Tokyo, we lived outside Tokyo and we used to go to Tokyo and do jingles and things like that. But I had vast amounts of time with his record collection and that's where I discovered the staple singers and David Hood, the bass player, and Roger Hawkins was the drummer. Uh, and I, I just find this rhythm section to be incredible. And so we're talking about a bass lesson. This is self-taught, basically. And I, I got into the minute detail of how those guys interacted. I dissected it, and I'm talking about like listening to it for hours on end, playing along, plugged into the system, listening to my playing compared to his, and why does mine not feel as groovy as his? Why, why okay, I'm playing the same note, what is it? Listen again. Okay, he's doing that. Listen to the note length, you're missing the note length. Just going into, uh, what I feel is we have masters here in our headphones, you know. There's um, a myriad of stuff. Yes, it's good to have lessons and it's good to have guidance and we need that to be shown how to do things correctly. But there's so much work we can do on our own, there's so much study, and it's fun too. I mean, it can be tedious if you, if you like, sometimes I got frustrated because I couldn't make my sound or feel sound like David Hood's, and that's why I wanted to sound as groovy as it. And I'm talking very, very simple bass lines, you know, like a song like Respect Yourself, you know, that Kane Company have covered. And it's like, you know, the bass lines like. dance with that that space just there it's almost like the if you like the hole in there comes out and punches you and that's the way it should feel it's like you know someone says it's not what he plays it's what he doesn't play well here's a concept of it the holes what you don't play so like in that bass line whole smack you in the face is what I'm saying it's like that's that's a that's how you get that pulse occurring and that's what I learned from that was a very important lesson that forged my knowledge of note length but no one could really tell me or show me that I had to hear that feel it and get inside it so it's like getting someone's glove and trying it on you know what I mean? and, until you can feel it by osmosis <laughs>